G'day and welcome to the Brits in the NRL round 16 review. Now, due to it being a split round, due to Origin 3, which is on next Wednesday, there were only four games in the NRL and only two Englishmen featuring, but they both went extremely well. Uh, Ryan Hall turned out for the Roosters, and the guy I'm going to start with is the young Bronco on debut, the 19-year-old Herbie Farnworth. The Broncos went to the Shire as massive underdogs and have come away with a 24-22 victory. Great win for the Broncos uh, with an extremely young backline. Herbie was on debut at 19 years of age. Xavier Coates, who they're calling the young GI, he was on the other wing. He's 18. It was an amazing performance from the Broncos and Herbie was outstanding. He didn't score a try and he also didn't uh, take any conversions because they kept Katoni Staggs, who's a very competent goal kicker. He kept uh, goal kicking for this week, but it was a very excellent debut from uh, Herbie. He didn't put a foot wrong, ran really strongly. Uh, I watched the game on Channel 9, and Peter Sterling and Darren Lockyer were both really, really complimentary of Herbie's efforts. Outstanding. Uh, Darren Lockyer said, and Sterlo was, was just commenting how hard he runs. He's not a huge frame bloke, but geez, he's got a bit of pace about him and a lot of ticker. So fantastic effort. He ended up, it, Herbie ended up with blood splattered all over his face. Uh, he, him and Alex Glenn smashed uh, Josh Dugan into touch late as the Sharks look for a match-winning try. So Herbie, uh, he's never going to forget his NRL debut. They not only got a win, he smashed his nose. And it was just an excellent performance from the young fella. Now, Ryan Hall, for the second game in a row, ran for over 200 metres. Uh, and that's even more impressive. The Roosters won 24-16 over the Tigers. It's even more impressive from Ryan Hall because nearly every single metre he gained was just just through rough, tough hit-ups into the teeth of the Tigers' defence. The Roosters play very heavily on the left side. Uh, Luke Carey loves to favour that left side with Daniel Tupu and Latrell Mitchell out there. So Ryan Hall basically had no room to move all night. So he was just rucking hit-up after hit-up. But he was extremely hard to put down. He just kept poking his nose, bending the line back, and it was an excellent performance. I didn't see a blemish from him all night. Um, and he's got to keep performing because the Roosters are getting all their players back. Once Tedesco's back from origin, you've got Ryan Hall, Brett Morris, Joey Manu, Matt Ikevalu, all scrapping for you know that right centre position because Daniel Tupu looks to have the left centre position, our uh, left wing position, sorry, all stitched up. So a great performance from Ryan Hall and from Herbie Farnworth. Now, next week, just a heads up, we're back to a full round of NRL. And so you get all your Brits back, except for George Burgess. He'll be out for quite a while uh, due to his little indiscretion. That cost him nine weeks. Uh, Thomas should be back for the Rabbitohs. Sam will be an outside chance. You'll get your four Englishmen for the Raiders will be back. And just remember, James Graham and Gareth Witter, probably another three to four weeks away. And Callum Watkins will be debuting for the Gold Coast Titans, they'll, they'll rush him straight in instead of Jesse Arthurs, I guarantee it. I'm, I'm, when am I ever wrong? That's the Brits in the NRL this week. Well done to Herbie Farnworth and Ryan Hall. Two very excellent performances. So go the English and go Rugby League. Enjoy your Rugby League. I'll see you shortly for an Origin 3 preview.